Hey guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay, so what we're going to do in this episode, I think, is we're going to do a collection uh, episode to sort of collect whatever we, we can find around here. Now, I know we're kind of doing two collection episodes in a row because our next one's going to be an Orchid collection, but our next one is going to be the final Orchid collection. So um, I just kind of want to get a, some stuff completed. I would like to try and pretty much clear out this entire northern section of all collectibles that are in here. There really aren't that many. Um, there's not that much up here. So I'd like to kind of get this all taken care of and cleared out so that we don't really ever should have to come up here again. We should be completely done unless a mission brings me up here or there's an animal up here that I need to hunt that I haven't gotten yet, um, which is possible. But for the most part, we should pretty much clear this out and be done with it, as hopefully, by the time we're finished with this episode. That's the idea. Um, so we never should have to come back into the this the far northwestern side of the map again um so i'm here at the uh the adler ranch um you guys can see it's over here we've been here before i kind of think i kind of came looking for this once before and i didn't find it um that was early on in the episode and i didn't really know what i was looking for um, but anyway there's a cheat code here and if you look across the beam right there you'll see death is silence let's see if i can get a um well that's not going to work is it let's see if i can get a uh better view of it. Well, you guys should be able to see it. It's right across the, the slanted beam uh, in the background. Death is silence. That's a um, cheat code, which of course we're not going to use, but we're, we now know what it is. So, you know, there you go. Okay, so that's basically it for back here. We're done with the, the, the very back of <laughs> this area. This is probably the farthest reaches of the map that there is. So let's go ahead and um, take a look. My next stop is going to be, and again, I think I came looking for this once before and I couldn't find it, so we're going to see if we can find it this time. It should be right here. So I'm going to go head over there, um, and I'll be back. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, we're here. So um, if we take a look at the map... It's right where it said it was. I don't. I think we came looking for this one before and we couldn't find it. And I don't have any idea why, because it's exactly where the marker says it is. Anyway, um, Jenny Kirk. There's the grave of Jenny Kirk. So Jenny was one of the two people who died before we knew her. We didn't know Jenny Kirk, but there she is. Um, you know, before the start of chapter one, she she died in that thing that, that Duff set up with the riverboat. Okay, um, there you go. Very nice. That is actually the furthest to the north we're going to have to go. So that's pretty good. Um, we're going to head next down into here. I think it's right about here again into Coulter. And if I, oh, maybe right here. Um, you can't fast travel into Coulter, unfortunately. I wish you could, but you yeah. can't. Uh, once it's no longer a camp, you can't get there directly. You just gotta ride there. But anyway, I'll head over there, and I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, guys, here we are. Um, so we're, again, we're in Coulter. Uh, if you take a look at the map, we are right in here. Uh, there's a little graveyard, mini graveyard over there, but right here... Just kind of behind the graveyard is David Callender's uh, grave. So there you go. Good mark that is found. So very nice, very nice. Um, again, Davy was one of the two people who died prior to the start of chapter one that we didn't really know. So yeah. All right, gang. Um, that's it for graves for the moment. Uh, our next stop is going to be right about here. Um, and I think this is kind of up in the mountains, so it might be tricky to get to. But I'll head in there and I'll uh, see you guys when we arrive. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, we've arrived. Um, it is a little bit tricky to get up here. It's not too bad if you go from where we were and kind of head to the right and up. Um, you can find it. Anyway. Here we are. You guys may remember this guy. Um, naturally, he's only available after you do a bright and bouncing boy. Uh, Stranger Strand. 
So here he is. I don't know how he got all the way over here, but sure. Anyway, apparently, if I were to go down here and pull out my... On, the electric lantern, it will grow, glow red as you get close to this guy, for whatever reason. So, probably more useful at night, but sure. Anyway, there he is. It's a little Easter egg that's the uh, the robot. Okay, very nice. Um, we are next going to head uh, right over here to this little lake right here. Or the, the mouth of this river, anyway. Um, probably the easiest way to get there is to go down. Anyway, um, I'll head down and I'll see you guys when I get over there. Okay guys, we're more or less here, I think. Um, I'm actually not sure what we're, what we're supposed to find, uh, or what we're looking for here. on the ice sheet. There we go. This might be it. I think. There's a lockbox here anyway. Let's see what we got. There we go. The Hawk Talon Trinket. That's what we look we're after. Let's grab that. It's not really behind the waterfall, is it? Um, that's what they're saying at the... This guy is very dead. Alright, well that seems to be it. There's nothing else here. Great. Now I gotta get back out of here. Um, let's wade down this way. We can get out over here. This water is probably really cold. Good thing Arthur's got his winter clothes on. Yep. Alright, very nice. We've taken care of a lot of the stuff that's in the far north. Um, okay. Uh, I guess we'll continue on this path. And um, head... Let's see. Right over here, it looks like. I'm going to go with right here. Yeah, let's go over there. I will see you guys when we get there, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, here we are. Uh, in that spot, you can see on the mini-map, there's a little weapon symbol. Let's go check it out. The dead guy here. He is holding a carbine repeater. So let's take that. Nice. All right, that's what we were after. Um, our next stop is going to be uh, just right over here, kind of right here. So let's head that way. This actually should take us, if I'm not mistaken, out of the worst of the snow. So um, Maybe things will get a little less snowy, although we're going to have to kind of loop back around so we might get back into some snow. But anyway, uh, I'll head over there and I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright guys, here we are. We seem to be here. I'm not actually sure what we're after here. Uh, oh, there's another little trinket piece here. So we head up in here. Come on Arthur, work with me here. I think if we open up this chest, what we should find... Oh, billfold, yeah, I'll take that. Cobalt petrified wood. Why can't I take it? Oh, apparently I already got this. I already got pe cobalt petrified wood. Really? Uh, hang on a second here. 
Let me just check on that. Um, let's see, we need the, uh, the boar tusk. Um, I'm a little confused. We don't have a boar tusk trinket. Huh. Do I already have a cobalt petrified wood? do. Okay. Well, then we'll mark that as found. Good enough. Okay. Awesome. Well, you can see we didn't get out of the snow <laughs> like I thought we were going to, but that's all right. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and grab the map. We're going to head, this is where we're going to start looping back sort of towards the north. Not really. We're going to start heading uh, east though. Um, I'm going to go right about here to this spot. All right, so um, I'm going to head over there. We'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, guys, here we are. Um, so let's take a look at the... Didn't do it for me. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and open that back up again. Let's take a look at the panoramic map. Uh, you can see um, there's kind of a twisty river down there. Um, not a lot of landmarks, really, but um, apparently this is the place that we're looking at. Uh, somewhere right in here, I think. It's a little hard to tell, honestly, but... One of these spots right in here is the location of the panoramic. There's nothing to find here, it's just that that's where the panoramic, panoramic map view is coming from, uh, apparently. Um, let me see if I can try to get... Maybe just a little closer to where it actually is. Uh, no, we're dead down dead on. I mean, just dead on. Um, oh, no, I take that back. My bad, guys. My bad. I misread the note. Um, this is actually a, a place where you can find the panoramic map if you don't find it in the other, in the place where we got it, wherever the hell that was. I don't even remember, but um, this is an, a potential location for the panoramic map to be not where it is. I didn't think that looked particularly uh, like <laughs> like the thing anyway so okay um that's all that is there's nothing really there it's just a little marking place that i've taken off our map now don't have to worry about it anymore i'm gonna go head over into this location it's tricky to get to these spots because of all the mountains in the way and, and whatnot um but uh, i'll head over there and uh when we get there i will let you guys know so we'll be back in just a minute okay guys here we are We've reached the spot, and here we find ourselves in the midst of a frozen cattle drive. A bunch of cows that just didn't quite make it. Uh, I guess there's no marker on the map to check out or anything. So this is something. This is a... Uh, what is this? Is tree stump? Apparently it's tree stump. So, yep, that's all there is. Looks like somebody tried to drive some cattle, and they all died. Which is too bad. Ten good, good cows there that didn't make it. Okay, very nice. Um, we are actually doing really well in taking, clearing out stuff from the northern area of the map. Um, I'm pretty pleased. 
Uh, we are going to go ahead over to near Cairn Lake uh, in particular. I want to hit this little hut right here. Now this may take us out of snow territory, I'm not sure. As you, as you get further to the uh, east, um, it does uh, get less snowy, so we'll see how it goes. Um, fox. Anyway, uh, I'll get over there and I'll see you guys when we're there, so I'll be back. Oh hey, good. This this random event just showed up. Um, this is another Tucker! of our markers that are here. Me. This is a random event, so this, hey, kid, this guy may or may not be here. Stop a minute, please. I'm looking for my friend. We was in the cabin, and he went out to get firewood, but he got lost in the storm. I'm getting real worried, Mister. I was searched everywhere. Would you help me look for him? All sure. right. Guess so. Where are we looking? You're a good man, bless you. I I'm gonna keep looking around the cabin. That's why I last saw him. If, if you could search the wider perimeter, I'd really appreciate it. Tucker! Sure, no problem, Tucker! man. Tucker! Shout if you can hear me! Please, open up the search. No good for us to cover the same ground. Yo, Tucker, you around here somewhere, buddy? I don't see anything. You can't be out here this long. How big of an area are we looking for? Um. Pretty large area. Tuck, are you around here somewhere? What's up? Easy now. Yep. Not sure if I'm going the right way. If I'm going the wrong direction. No, I think I'm going the wrong way. I mean, not unless he's in here somewhere. Alright, let's go find him this way. Oh yeah, the little marker's going this way. Okay, I see that now. Uh-oh, is that him? Oh, did I almost walk right by him? Oh, dude. He didn't make it. Bummer, man. Sorry, buddy. Tucker kind of didn't make it. Afraid to tell you. Hey, dude. My friend. Hey, so, find anything? Yeah. He's up the hill a ways over on a rock. Listen, friend. <clears throat> you might not want to see him. Oh, Tucker? Oh, God! Sorry, buddy. Okay. Um, right. The next thing we're going to go look at... That's cool. That's That random event is out of my face. I don't need to worry about it. Um, since we're right here, I'm, I'm going to go to that hut in just a second. But before I do that, I'm going to go head out into the ice. Apparently, if we yep. head over here somewhere... Hey, actually, I'll just get off the horse. This is being kind of skittish. Uh, check the ice. Oh, there it is. 
Keep your dream simple. There's your cheat code that we're not going to ever use, but there it is. So very nice. Okay. Now then, let's go have a look at that cabin. Apparently, if we go in here, um, let's take a look at the lockbox. I think this is where we got one of the gunslingers, is it not? We will have a ginseng and some rifle cartridges. Sweet. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, anything else in here? Some uh, Kentucky bourbon, I'll take that. You keep your cigarettes though, I don't want those. All right, very nice. Very nice indeed. I think we have cleared this place out, even from the random event, which is awesome. Uh, very good, guys. We've actually pretty cl cleared out the north section, which is what I wanted to get done. Um, we'll never have to come this far north again, as far as I know. Uh, we can go right over here to these planters. Bomb? Bomb? I don't know what that says. Uh, there's a couple of things down here by this lagoon that we can go get. That's probably the next closest thing, actually, which is pretty far, so, you know. And this really should start getting us out of the snow at this point. Um, I feel like we should be getting pretty close to being yeah. out. So, anyway, I will head down there, and um, I will see you guys when we get there. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, here we are. Um, let's go check it out. Um, we have not come out of the snow yet. I keep thinking we're going to come out of the snow, but we still haven't. I think we've come out of the worst of it. I mean, it's not as deep and, and prevalent as it was, but um, it's still pretty snowy, so I keep thinking we're going to finally come out of it, but apparently not. So um, we should have in here somewhere a cigarette card. Grave newspaper clipping. Okay, let's grab that. Silver pocket watch, sure. Kentucky bourbon, sure. Oh, there's my cigarette card. That's a different button. Uh, World Champions card 10. Sweet. Um, let's see. Felix Holly. Hmm, very nice. Found. Cool. Cool. Seven of twelve cigarette cards found. I'm gonna grab this. Take all of his stuff. Whoever lives here. No, don't do that. Damn it. <laughs> That's not what I wanted you to grab, Arthur. Whatever. I guess we just got a new cigarette card or possibly a duplicate. Uh that's fine. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, take a look at my satchel, actually. We picked up a newspaper clipping of some sort. Grave newspaper clipping. A newspaper clipped about a terrible accident found in a defaced grave. Talented ice skater career cut short in a terrible accident. Okay. It's only on one side. All right, then. Let's go check out this defaced grave, which apparently is just out here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty uncool. Uh, we will go through the journal at the end of the episode today, guys. Um, it's been a, quite a while since we've done it, and we're way behind on that. Actually, we've got a lot of pages to go through, unfortunately. I didn't realize it, how far back we had not seen the journal. Um, okay. Huh. 
Huh. According to the little thingy, there should be <laughs> right here a landmark. I, I don't know if he's call talking about the, the lake in general. But we'll go check it out. It's frozen over, so we can just go walk out there. I think. Although it's a little bit uh, <laughs> thin, this ice, I think. Yeah, I don't see anything. I guess it's just talking about the, the lake in general. So, you know, sure. It is called the Barrel Lagoon, so that is the landmark we are after. So I'll mark it as found. Um, just to the south, on the south side of this lake, right about here. Go right over there, it's right over here. Still alive. Fuck three times now. Anybody else? Damned wolves. Okay. Let's go check out whatever it is we're looking for here. Um, what am I looking for? There should be a hollow tree stump. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's take a look at inside of here. Money. How much we get? $22. More money. Another $22. And a miracle tonic. I like it. That's all there is in there, right? That's it. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Well, that is just awesome. Um, we really have totally cleared out the northern side of the map. Um, there's a cluster of things right over here. So let's go take a look right here in Shea Porter. So let's go head over there. And again, I hope we are actually going to finally work our way out of the snow, but we shall see. Anyway, guys, I will uh, head over there, and I'll see you when we get there. Up now. Okay, guys, here we are. Uh, you may remember we did some sort of uh, camp activity here where we shot up a bunch of strange people. Um, anyway, there's a whole ton of stuff around here. Started with this house, apparently. Not sure if we have to go inside, but there's a apparently somewhere in here a shotgun. Not sure where. Uh, oh, it's upstairs. Okay, well, as long as we're down here, we'll take the health cure. We gotta find the upstairs. There's sort of an upstairs. I see what looks like some sort of Well, I can't get to it. Okay, never mind. Alright, stand up Arthur. Stand up Arthur. No upstairs to this house. What are they talking about upstairs? Oh, here we go. Pump action shotgun. Nice. Found. Cool. Okay. Um, 
let's see what else we can find. There should be. Let's get out my regular gun, please, Arthur. Let's see. There should be over in this building somewhere a uh, cigarette card. Hatchet, which I can't take apparently. Uh, hmm, where am I seeing this? Ah, uh, we might be in the wrong place. Um, might be this guy right here. On a windowsill, it says. There we are. Jack Hall Gang. Nice. Famous Gunslingers card three. Found. Cool. Six of 12 Gunslinger cards found. Very nice, very nice. That should be about it for that. Now if we go into the barn, See what we got in here. All right. First of all, we got to go up to the second floor. Oh, there's a ladder. It's like, how am I going to do that? Arthur's not really good at jumping. Yes. Head over to this chest. Let's pop that open. One money stack, worth $55. One large jewelry bag, another money stack, worth $55. Very nice. Uh, hmm. He's got two markers for the same thing. Okay, that's. That's silly. All right, very good. One more thing in this area. And it may just be a wild plant, so... Um, but let's go pick it, because we got a... A, um, a challenge for picking various herbs and whatnot. It's not going to let me set up marker, but... There it is. Alaskan ginseng. Sure, we'll pick that. Um, I'll leave that marker there because that, that may respawn if I ever need to lock and ginseng again for any reason. Um, don't know why I would, but... Okay, very good. Very good, very good. Okay, I think we are done here. Cleared this place out. We haven't really done anything um, super substantial, but we've been picking up a few bits and pieces of stuff here and there. Um, let's change that right now. Right over here. I say right about here-ish. We are going to go find something that's actually going to be useful for one of our side missions. So let's go do that. Um, I'll head over there and I'll see you guys when I get back. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, we're here. So, oh, there it is. I was going to say, I don't really see this, but there it is. Now, here's a question. How the hell do I get up there? 
There you go. Just do it from right here. Rock carving. Nice. Cool. Okay. Um, maybe just a couple more. They're close by. We have done really well in clearing out the uh, the northern section of the map, so I'm pretty pleased. Squirrel. Western gray squirrel. Don't I need squirrel for some reason? Do we have a hunting request for squirrel? No. We do not. That was early on in our hunting requests, so never mind. You're safe. I don't need squirrel for any reason. Uh, what was I doing? Yep. Okay guys, we finally made it here. Um, this was kind of the pain I'm about to get to just because this cliff was right here and it was right in my way and I just could not figure out a way to get down to it here. Um, but we found it. We're right basically next to the train tracks. Um, if you get on those tracks and you go just over there, you can kind of get on this little ledge that comes back here. And right over here, you'll find yourself a hat. Let's go with that. Which, if you swap it out, you got yourself a Nevada hat. There's also a letter. So let's grab that. A note from Robert Elliot Patchen. Let's read it. A note from Robert Elliot Patchen. To he who finds this, I am told by those who attend my shows, applauding mightily, throwing flowers upon the stage when I perform in San Francisco or Chicago, San Denis or New York, that I should be the happiest, gayest person alive. Now when the curtain closes and the rover applauds and gulfs and we walk back out on stage for a bow, I should be basking in adulation. Instead, I am riddled with despair. I need to be inebriated on wine or numb from laudanum to relish the recaptured exhilarations I had as a child. Make no doubt, dear reader, that I grinned with delight upon seeing that I was featured on a card for Millicent Cigarettes. The stars of the stage, indeed, I did find it queer that my card was listed after Jim Cobb, who I dare say has not sold out theaters in New York to my level, which is for the certain. But purchasing a packet of cigarettes and seeing my face inside did bring me joy, if briefly. I had to purchase a fair number to achieve this event, but it did finally bring delight. Though these moments are few and far between. Looking in the mirror at the gray and receding hairline being called upon to play the roles of fathers and old men rather than the dashing hero, the romantic lead, I can suffer these indignities no longer. I am a lover, a poet, a, not a grandfather, a gardener. Someone said that to ensure success in this life, all you need is ignorance and confidence. I am anything but an ignorant fool, and my confidence in all things, letters, and love fades and grows flaccid as each season passes. I simply cannot endure the facade of enjoying this and in, the, in the company of any of any of you one moment longer. I apologize for everything, Robert Elliot Patchen. Okay. Sounds like we didn't have a good time. All right, I'm gonna swap back out my hat. Okay. Hey, my horse came. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got that. All right, guys. Um, there is, by the way, a spot right here that you can pick up fish. I think this is it right here. So, you know, if you need fish. There you go. <laughs> it's a rock bass. <laughs> I don't know if I've gotten rock bass before. I think I have. But sure, I'm not. You know, doesn't hurt. All right, gang. Um, 
I know this was just a collection episode, and we're going to do another collection episode in the next episode, which is going to be uh, orchids. Um, but you know, these things have to be done. They have to, you have to pick up all this stuff, and we have cleared out pretty much the entire northern section of the map. Pretty much the entire snow line and above has been cleared out, as far as I can tell. So that's pretty awesome. It's a big chunk of map um, that we've actually cleared. So pretty pleased about that. Pretty pleased about that. I can't say that I'm I'm unhappy about that. Uh, let's go ahead and not the satchel. Take a look at our journal. And yeah, this is the where we last word. You're gonna get, you guys are gonna be amazed at how many pages we've gone through. Shady Bell, I went to an art gallery. Seems like fine and fancy living quite so different from life in the wilderness, robbing stagecoaches. There's an ex exhibition of paintings by the artist I met a couple of times, Charles something or other. French fella. Seems he's been doing more than painting his models. To the face grave. Hmm. Ah, uh, I went to the chopper. Of course I did. Okay. You gotta hit the R1 key. Not the... I gotta find where we were. Sorry guys. Okay, that's where we were. And we read that. Let's read this. Her husbands weren't so keen on the liberties he'd been taking with his subject matter. The whole thing descended into a brawl, had to help him escape. Birds and plants? I don't what is that? Oh, a wolf. Shady Bell found Charles the artist dressed as a streetwalker, trying to flee from assorted men he'd offended, fleeing to the South Seas. Wonder if we'll see him there. That was quite some time ago that we did that. <laughs> uh, Shady Bell. Saw them weird boys again with the equally weird names. This time they asked me to give them a beating. I can't even try to understand them. took medicine to that creepy pair as they poisoned themselves something proper. They survived, but I doubt they'll make it for much longer, like a pair of circus clowns. Went to see the professor at his lab. He had built a sort of mechanical sun. He seemed to think it was amazing, but we could not get the thing to work properly. I was not half as impressed as with him as he was with himself. Met the king, the king of his tree. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Apparently, that weird sketch he gave me was worth a lot of money, and Charles is a world-famous artist. Well, it wasn't worth that much. The mayor of San Benigni Mansion. My lord, now I have done everything. I went to a ball like a fool in a fairy tale. The mayor of San Benigni. Dutch got us invited by old Senor Bronte, and off we tr trooped, trussed up like turkeys for Thanksgiving, and waxed and polished and primped up with the minutes of our lives. Bronte did not mingle with the other guests, but lorded over the place like a Roman emperor, deciding who to have killed for his fun. This is full of drunks, lunatics, liars, and clowns. But the thing was kind of fun. Managed not to get into too much trouble and may have some business. Oh, geez. Opportunities on account of inquiry, inquiries there. We shall see, I guess. Seeing Bill dressed up like an ambassador and awkward as a schoolgirl was one of the funniest moments of my life. Met Evelyn Miller, the writer, which was amazing for Dutch. Met the mayor. Dutch and Hosea seem to think that this dump is a world of possibilities. They want to look into the bank and some other business opportunities. We shall see. As long as we can keep ahead of the Pinkertons and Mr. Cornwall and the rest of them for a while, maybe we, sh we'll be we shall be okay. Birds. Birds and a horse. More birds. Met this fellow, Algernon Moss. Not sure how to describe him, but I won't forget him anyway. I could not do him justice. Different kind of fellow, but he says he'll pay good money for assorted feathers and eggs and whatnot for his creations for various rich women. Gave me a list of things he wants. Evelyn Miller. 
Met that writer Evelyn Miller on the street. He remembered me from the party. Apparently my petty crime did not go entirely unnoticed. Better keep my head down a little better. He introduced me to a couple of Indians. Father and son. Son angry, father with an air of what, exactly? Something of both impressive and frightening and kind of and kind about him. A great man, defeated by a powerful and awful forces. I do not know, but his eyes, his very manner spoke to me. Somehow I've agreed to help them. Seems they, like us, have problems with that gilded ape, Leviticus Cornwall, and his foul empire. We shall see how this pans out. Went back and someone or something had killed the professor. His mechanical creature had been stolen. <laughs> well? So the two strange boys and the girl, they claimed to love one, once again. This time it was real strange. I mean, it was strange before, but this time it was, well, real strange. They got me to push them off a waterfall in a barrel. They both somehow survived, just about. But then they turned on the girl and went off together like two happy keys in a pod. Not sure what to think about the whole business. Lady of Night Orchid, Spider Orchid. Oh boy. Somehow got myself involved in the charming business of San Denis culture. The mayor, who we knew who knew we robbed him a while back, invited me over to his mansion again. Strange man, nice and awful. Cynical and caring. Wants to make his city thrive. Doesn't seem to care how he goes about it. Threatened me in order to make me threaten some art professor on his behalf. Why? So the art professor will verify that a bunch of paintings ain't the forgeries he believes. They are. They are the genuine article he thinks they aren't, in order to fill the people with the joy that they are looking at a real work of genius. Lady Slippers Orchid, Moccasin Orchid. Not a good copy of Work of Genius. Yes, I was pretty confused about the whole thing, but I did as I was bid to do, and the professor changed his mind once he saw that I would be happy to turn his mind into nothingness. Saw Mr. White and Mr. Black living happy as a pair of argumentative, murderous bastards ever could. They were holed up in a tree, squabbling like angry bastards. Golden Current. Algeron is quite a character. Here's his sketch of him. Went back to see Mr. See Calloway and Levin. Calloway's still a drunken clown. He had me kidnap some old adversary, Slim Grant. They ended up shooting each other, and then Calloway turned on me. Less said, the better. But Levin has himself a book, and I will slide back into obscurity. That's linging into life for me. I prefer good, honest killing with none of the pretensions. You guys to see <laughs> how far back we are. Again, doing Mayor Le Lemoy's dirty work. I think that's how it's spelled. His first name is Henri, only he spells it Henry. I guess my French isn't is nearly as bad as my English. Now I was threatened into threatening a newspaper man into donating to the noble cause of truth and learning. I had to make this guy support a library. He didn't want to. Then he did. Old blackmailing Lemoy has himself been threatened by his own assistant, a chap I never liked too much name of John Mark, I think. So I go hunting for John Mark. Only John Mark is a noble believer in truth and honesty and cannot stand his boss's lies. I'm charged with killing him. I cannot do it. John Mark is irritating, but the mayor is worse. The mayor is always bad at and those who would rule over us, and it ain't my business at all. So I let him live and let him deal with it themselves. I'm just I'm through with politics. Okay. Let's just read this. I'm going to start off with Cigar Orchid, Queen Orchid, Ghost Orchid. Clamshell Orchid. Oh boy. Herein, that poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead, killed by the bastards. He saved my life and I could not save his. They chopped his head off and tried to kill a lot of us. Ms. Adler fought braver, braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. I feel like an animal living out here in the mud here. Living out in mud here. What place gives me the creeps? K-R-I-P. Oh, we're getting closer now. We're reaching events. I think I may have met a witch, or a woman who wanted to be one. Uh, found the wreckage of a flying machine in the woods. Some would be Icarus, dead with his dreams. Night sent it over. Here's a picture of the maniac I found ranting in the cave. Black tail orchid. A very small church for a very small congregation. Okay, and then we got the, uh, the hands. I drink from the maiden and I live again in the dead. The heart of the ring of blood. I feed again in the blood of life. The circle has begun. Five bones under the perfect star. Nosferatu will, with Dominica, will become mortal again. Oh, sweet of sweetest of napes, may your blood remain forever on my lips. 
six there will be before the lust is sated. With one long kiss I draw the life from her and wait the outpost of advancing day. Oh. Seems those of us who thought Angelo Bronte was a lizard in a suit were, was right, and then as thought he was a gentleman thief eager to help us on our merry way was wrong. Bastard sent us into a trap in town, told us to rob the trolley station. No money, but the entire police force was waiting for us. Dutch nearly died. Lenny fought real hard. The kids stood in the fight and saved us. Dutch is planning some big escape for us all. Some grand master plan. Everything we are attempting here seems troubled. I hope we can get out of here alive. Right now, it don't seem likely. Dutch is raging about Bronte's deception or betrayal or whatever quite it was. Dutch don't like being made a fool of. Even Micah, with all his teasing and eating, plays it real cool with Dutch. I would not want to be Bronte right now. I cannot see Dutch letting this pass. Uh -oh. It ain't John Mark, it's Jean Mark, Jean Mark, you fool, and he's now the mayor. I guess that's good. The Moy's done for. You never know when you're going to meet a, who you're going to meet down a dark alley. Uh, okay. I found the mechanical creature on top of the hill. Whole thing real strange. Hey, we're in today's stuff. And there you go. Finally. Yeah, we were a little bit behind on that. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and save the game here. I don't think we will have advanced anything, but uh, unless those weapons might have counted as equipment, but we'll see. Probably not. Oh, 59.2. Yep, we went up by 0.2%. Probably because we picked up weapons, um, which would have counted as equipment. So, yeah. Not bad, I guess. I mean, you know, that's worth as much as some of these missions that we've been doing have, have, have been worth. So. Or almost as much, anyway. Alright, guys, we are going to stop here. Let me take a moment to thank my patrons. My $5 plus patrons are Michael Hood and Tar Gregory. You can see the details of my $3 and $1 plus patrons in the description below and at the end of this episode, respectively. Do go check out those links in the description, guys. Really good stuff in there, and you're going to want to go take a look, so go do that. Thank you very much, gang. It is a huge help to the channel, and I do appreciate the assistance that you guys provide, so thank you very much uh, for that, very sincerely. All right, y'all, I'm going to stop here, and we will pick this back up in the next episode, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to comment, like, and subscribe. All these things really help me out. I'd like to say a big thanks to all my patrons whose names are appearing on the screen right now. Thanks a lot guys, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more great content, consider joining my list of patrons. There's a link on the screen in the bottom left corner. Thanks a lot guys and I'll see you in the next video.